here we have uh, the scope view, the vertical, that's at uh, three times zoom. I'm going to point out to the sky and I'm going to turn the magnification range. And that's 18. Very nice reticle. I'm going to zoom out. That's 10 times zoom. I'm going to try to look at some houses. So let me adjust the parallax wheel. There we go. In that house it's around 500 yards. That's six times zoom. Let me zoom up. I'm doing this freehanded, so sorry about the shakiness of the footage. Sorry, but very shaky. There we go. Parallax adjusted. Okay, so now we have the ED model. This is the reticle view. The only downside that I have, or that I think this uh, reticle has, it's that as you zoom in, you can see it's edge on the glass the discovery brand so it's kind of obstructive I think if you have uh, the brand already printed outside in the box and also in the scope you don't need to print it another another time inside the the glass so Besides that, I think it's a very nice uh, reticle that's in 15 times zoom. It has a lot of uh, holdover points and windage. Uh, I'm gonna zoom back 10 and 3 times zoom. There's the harbor, that's the house that we were watching just a few moments ago. I'm going to zoom in and then I'm going to adjust the parallax. Fifteen power. And 
as you can see um, from preliminary observation and first impressions this glass the glass quality on this model it's superb it's much clearer much crisp image not so uh, color distortion it's better than the other one and I think it's better than my Athlon Helos BTR that I have I'm gonna make another video comparing this, uh, these two discoveries against the Athlon and an Aeon scope that I have so I'm gonna pan a little bit full zoom range we're gonna see the same image as before in the harbor I'm gonna adjust the parallax wheel there